Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to talk about the bowline. I'll show you how to do it. Um, bowline is another great knot for tying in with. Um, personally, it's the knot I use and have used for the last 20 years or so um, with no problems. Um, the advantages of a bowline are that it's still easy to undo even when it's been weight loaded. So if you are doing a lot of climbing, if you're projecting a route, you're falling off a lot, you're hanging on the rope a lot, a figure of eight can get very tight and very difficult to do. Uh, whereas a bowline, you can jump on it all day and it'll still come undone easily. The downside to a bowline um, is that you have to tie it right. With a figure of eight, if you don't quite re-thread it correctly, if you go the wrong way or something, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to get some sort of knot that will still hold you. With a bowline, it either works or it just falls apart. So, how do you tie it? Well, first off, there's no starting knot like with the retrace figure eight. You simply Thread the end through your harness as before. Just take the end, thread it through the bottom loop, and then through your top loop. Again, so it's following the same loops your B lay loop goes through. Pull through approximately half a meter, it's not quite as much as a figure eight. Then you're ready to tie your knot. Now, once you've threaded through your harness, simply make a loop like this you just twist it over the rope coming from your harness is on top like so take the end put it through from underneath pull through the desired length of loop then wrap your end around the main rope Immediately thread it back down through your original loop. Pull tight. That is your bowline. Now, unlike with a figure of eight, bowline is much more important you tie it off because bowlines can work themselves loose and you can end up in trouble. So, to tie off your bowline, you simply do your same fisherman's knot, but this time it's below. So you just loop, working your way up this time towards the knot, as many times as necessary, and thread it in through the top and down. Again, as you tighten, Move it up towards the base of the knot and pull tight. There is your bowline tied off with a dual fisherman's. I um, hope you've all enjoyed it and we'll see you next time for more knots and tips. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer it. Uh, but for now, that's me, so goodbye.